Hey everybody, it's Mr. X Stitch here. Weekly vlog zero zero five, I think. Yeah. First of all, apologies. Quite floofy. Didn't really sort of forgot I was going to record a video today. Could have done my hair, but life gets in the way, and god damn it, this hair keeps on growing. Anyway, uh, what I'm talking about. The new season of the Lovecraft show has just launched. Yay! Pretty exciting. Season 3 is out now. Find the Lovecraft show on your favourite podcasting platform. We've got an interview this time with Frances Quinn, who is a winner of the 2013 Great British Bake Off. She's our first baking uh, guest. And we talk about all kinds of things. We talk about design. We talk about cakes. We talk about... Oh, we've got a quiz called Cake or Fake. Is it a cake or is it a fake? It's just nice to be doing the Lovecraft show again, to be honest. I missed it. We had a bit of a hiatus where we started making some plans and stuff. And we've got eight episodes that are going to be coming out every two weeks between now and December. Uh, we've recorded a couple of other conversations already. And we've got some really good ones, like some guests who are like kind of out of this world. Mm, yeah, you're going to have to listen out for that one. But yeah, hopefully you can find it on uh, podcasting platforms. I think they should be putting on the Lovecraft YouTube channel as well with a bit of a luck, so uh, you can enjoy, you should listen to the trailer as well, I'm, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, it's made me laugh, and I'm in it, and that's a bit embarrassing when you're laughing at your own things, but it was quite a funny one to record, we had a bit of fun making that and stuff, and it's just nice to be back in the groove with Mary and my co-host, and for us to talk about all the kinds of bits and pieces, so if you want something good to listen to, get a load of that, uh, shout out to Yvette again, thanks to everybody who's been watching the videos. Uh, I was trying to think what else I was going to talk about. I finished listening to Evergreen Assets, finally, by John Lamerton, which I really enjoyed. I enjoyed it more than I was going to expect, considering I didn't necessarily learn a lot of new stuff from it because of having read many different books already about, I don't know, the marketing wisdoms and stuff. But John's got a really personable way of putting things together, and it was really enjoyable. And I just like... He has this thing called the 1% Club, which isn't something I'm necessarily going to sign up for because I don't feel like I can justify the expense. Um, I already have a bit of business coaching going on with Annie from Hustlewell. Shout out to Annie. She is, uh, if you visit hustlewell.co.uk, I'll put a link. Um, she's doing a beta program as well. If you want some business coaching, uh, look her up and sign up for that. It's been really good to have someone to talk to once a month about the business and to help set goals and make plans and all those sorts of things. So I'm grateful for Annie being there for that. Um, so I'm not going to do the 1% Club, but the idea or the fundamental premise is if you can make a 1% improvement to your business every week, it's like incremental gains. It's going to you know make things go a lot better. So I'm kind of hoping to do some of that. I've been doing bits and bobs. Like I merged two email lists the other week which wasn't very exciting, but hopefully will make my job marginally more efficient. And there's just other bits and pieces that I'm going to try and do. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I found an interesting way to actually get my emails to go straight into Notion, which if any of you are interested, if any of you understand what I mean when I talk about Notion and you want to find out more, let me know. Maybe I'll do some kind of video about it. I don't know when I'm ever going to get around to doing a video that's more sophisticated than me talking in my office, holding my arm, holding a phone trying to look at the right bit of the camera so I don't always look like I'm blind but um yeah happy to talk about that quite pleased because I'm trying to get out of living in my inbox that seems to be a thing when I was reading A World Without Email by Cal Newport it was like we always seem to live in our inbox as though that's the most important part of our day and it's really weird it's quite a hard one to get out of one of the best things I ever did was work out on my Windows PC how to turn the notification off that tells me I've had a new email because that's been quite transformative. It just takes a load of distraction out of the way. So if I'm deep in doing something, I don't go, oh, I've got an email in the same way as, you know, if you spend half an hour turning the notifications off on your phone, your life suddenly becomes a lot better. Um, but yeah, getting my emails to go into Notion, working out of the way. Here's a top tip for you. If you're ever trying to um, settle down the amount of work in your inbox, set up a rule that says if the body of your email contains the word unsubscribe, then move that email to a separate folder. Because all of your junk emails all give you options for unsubscribing and even the newsletters and stuff like that. Make an exception, obviously, for the Mr. Exit newsletter. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, 
But that's quite a good tip because it does clean out an awful lot of stuff. And, you know, you'll need to look in that folder because every now and again, someone will genuinely have contacted you and that word will be in the body of the email. But it sure does get rid of a lot of crap in the first place. So, so yeah, pro tips, unsubscribe, using that as a search in emails. I can show you or explain how to use Zapier, Zapier, to uh, get your emails to go into Notion. Uh, subscribe to Lovecraft Show. Thanks for being here. See you next week. Love you guys. Bye.